Hey guys, what's going on, Matt here, and welcome back to the Black Ops 3 Mods Source Tutorial Series. So then, in this video, we're going to be going over how to add Bible Debris to your map. So this, of course, is the debris where you, know, you go up to it, you spend it, you, know, you spend your points, it shoots up into the air, and then, of course, you, you know, you can then access your new area. So what I need to do, first of all, is, of course, set up a, basically, two zones. So in this scenario, I have just a test map. I have my starter zone over here, and I have a zone set up over here. If I just go over some of the filters and show the volumes, as you can see, I have a start zone and i have my second zone each of them have risers in um if you need a video on you know on how to sort of showing your zoning i do actually have another video on you know where i set up a second zone um, and i go into depth on that but for this video let's just kind of you know put in what we need to you know what we need to do and not go over things for a second time so in team four you can see our target name zone two i've just called it zone underscore two and target um, I'm obviously targeting my riser spawners over here. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to tell you first of all though, is actually go into our map name.gsc to basically register these two zones as adjacent zones. You know, once I've actually got these set up. So if you go over to your Black Ops 3 root directory over here, go over to your user maps, go to your map name, in this case it's ZM test day I'm using, go over to your scripts zm and you'll have your zm underscore your map name dot gsc make sure it's the the um, the dot gsc version okay go open up this and you'll have this all we're going to do is go scroll down actually not scroll down it's actually here no need to scroll down that much uh so over here you'll see user map test zone in it okay now what all we're going to do is we'll put one line of code into here now of course if you already have well you know if you already have this line just copy it from you know above so I'm just going to grab it from another screen. I will put this code in the description um, so you guys can just grab it from there. So directly at the very top of it, we're just going to add that one line as such. All this is, is it's just saying I've got a start zone, I've got my second zone, and this is what is known as a script flag. So this is what's being, basically being called um, to activate the next zone. Um, so I'm just going to keep it as this though for this. Um, so I've got a start zone, zone two, and start zone zone two okay i tend to just for the script flag i tend to just put them both together separated by an underscore um that's just kind of like the naming convention i tend to use so i'm going to keep this open just so i can use it for reference later on okay so i'm just going to save this and minimize that we can now close that I don't need that anymore now what we can do is i'm just going to go to my filters i'm just going to uncheck volumes just to keep it nice and clear um, so I don't need to really use them anymore. So what we need to do now, of course, is actually make the debris. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to models. And I'm just going to tap in crate. I'm just going to use a very, you know, very typical. If I spell it right. Very typical wooden crate. I'm going to use nothing special, in particular. Um, let's use that. Drag and drop that in there. Lovely. What I'm going to do now is just rotate this to where I would want my debris to look like. Um, there forgot where my uh, rotation was then we'll put it right in the very center and we'll put one here and let's put one sort of standing up like such just get a bit of variation of course you guys will take a bit more time to actually align these properly you know actually make it look good um i just want to kind of just get it done put it on the floor there we go okay so you can see we've got some crates so let's add one more on top of there just to make it look a, a bit more like it's actually blocking us okay so we've got some debris crates um of course you know you don't have to use the same models you know use whatever you want uh i'm just doing it for simplicity here so once we've got that what we need to do now is select all three of our models like such or you know however you know however many you have in your in your case we'll go over to entity info like such and what we're going to do is we're going to remap the class i'm going to use script model so just there you got script underscore model go click remap that's how i'm gonna make these all these three into a script model it doesn't sort of tie them together or anything it just creates a script model for every single one of them like such next thing we need to do is give it two kvps now okay so select them all because it's going to be the same for all of them so now the target name is going to be just like you know you would do with the door or anything uh, this is going to be what it's um, called by so if you know when we're referencing it this is what it's going to be called so all i'm going to do is i'm going to call it something like let's do starting underscore debris okay you can name it whatever you want just you know keep track of what you're naming it so starting underscore debris lovely so target name starting debris and we'll copy that because we'll use that later 
and now this target is the way this works is you'll have a trigger the trigger then targets the actual clip which obviously makes it so you can't walk through it and also the model and then the actual model itself targets a uh, what's known as a script struct and that's basically where it goes once it kind of shoots into the air so what we're going to do is uh, you know that will make sense later on though so all i'm going to do is add another kvp with target and this of course is targeting that so that struct or you know where it's going to shoot off to now a naming convention i tend to use is purely just the target name underscore struct okay so I copied it earlier so I could have to type it out again. So target, I'm going to do starting debris underscore struct. That tends to be how I name things. I just do underscore, you know, whatever it is afterwards. So name it whatever you want, just keep it consistent. So target name, see so what we're going to be basically targeting it. You know, this is what it's called to us. And of course it's going to be, this itself is going to be then be targeting a struct to, you know, go in that direction. So next let's actually make the trigger now. Of course, this is what the player is actually going to be, you know, using to interact with it by. So to do this, we're going to go to Entity Browser. We're going to go down to Trigger. I'm going to grab a Trigger underscore Use. So Trigger Use, you got one there. Drag that in. I'm just going to position this um, exactly, you know, as you'd expect the trigger to be, really. Cover the entire thing. Give it a bit more room, like such. And I'll put it up to about there, okay? So there's our trigger. Now what we need to do is actually... It's this is probably the most KVPs we need now. So what we're going to do is we're going to do target name zombie debris. So we can see we've already got a target name in here. So I'm going to do zombie underscore debris. Now all of these KVPs guys will be in the description. Um, if you do wish to you know have a look at that, um, everything will be in there um, in case you, know, you need to check spelling or anything like that. So we've got target name zombie debris, script flag. So the script flag, now this now is where we need to reference our code. So we have script flag, and now if you open up your um, script that we made earlier, just move this out of the way a little bit, I'm gonna have to open it up on two screens like this, like two um, windows. So you see here, we have the start zone, zone two, and then whatever you put in here. So whatever you put in this part here, is gonna be what you put in here, okay? So for me, it was start zone, zone two. So start, zone 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 two like such enter that now what we can do now is i can actually exit out of this now um, i no longer need this okay so script flag was whatever you put in like in the third part of that of that um that bit of code um next what we need to do is we need to now, now give it a target so this is of course we need to target these models now so target and we called the models starting debris so Starting the brain, lovely. So this now is gonna. As soon as this trigger is, um, you know, used, it's gonna, of course, activate the next zone. It's then going to target this debris itself. You know, it's gonna say, "Hey, you know, I'm looking at you." Basically. Um, next, we need uh, another KVP. So this now is gonna be zombie underscore cost. Okay. And of course, this is how much it costs to open that debris. Now, I'm going to put 750 just so when I'm testing it, it doesn't take me too long to uh, get that amount of points. So all those four KVPs, so you know, target name and these three, um, basically makes your debris. Of course, change the zombie cost to whatever you want. And of course, customize these two to whatever you named things uh, in other parts. So that's pretty much done now then for the trigger part. Next, we need to set up this script struct because this trigger is now targeting these models. But now, as you know, as you saw earlier, we had this target here, starting debris struct. Now I'm gonna copy this just so I don't have to type it out again. It also, you know, uh, lowers any typing uh, errors. Uh, now, you know, we actually need to target this and we need to make this struct. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to entity browser. I'm gonna go down to script. I'm going to struct. Okay, so you see script struct. Drag it into the map. Now this is where your models are basically going to be flying off to. So I'm going to put one just right above the models, make it nice and centered. There we go. And all I'm simply all I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a target name of starting debris struct. So now you can see it's all linked together as well. So the you know the uh, the trigger targets the models, and the models then target this struct. Okay, that's kind of you know that's like you know how it all sort of flows. So the last thing we need to do now is of course actually add a clip. Now, if you've used models before in your map, um, 
you probably would have done by this stage uh, you'll notice you can walk straight through them so at the moment this door although it's a door nothing's actually stopping the player from actually walking through it um you could walk straight through it so first what we need to do is we need to be putting in a um a clip okay so escape on that all i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go down to script brush model now what you can do is draw out your clip and then obviously you can remap it to a, a, um, a brush model it's easier just to do it like this though so if you go down to script and brush model drag that into your map place this over it now what i would recommend doing is fitting this perfectly okay so giving a bit of distance between the clip and the trigger okay just to get, just so your player can actually still access that uh, trigger um if, you know if you need to make your trigger a little bit bigger um, you know if it doesn't sort of work when you go in game just make it a little bit bigger so all i'm going to do is i'm going to place this clip around the entire object and all the way up to the very top of these walls so this is effectively the solid part of the debris okay this is the part that you play cannot walk through all i'm going to do next is go over to textures and we'll give it a clip texture okay and then that's pretty much set up now we just need to give it now two kvps okay so we'll go over to entity info and we'll give it a target and a target so a target name and a script noteworthy so so target name is going to be uh, basically you're going to be using the same as the models because the trigger is is obviously you know sort of shouting at the models but it's also going to be shouting at this uh, this um, clip as well okay so we'll give it the target name a script it's not a script sorry a starting debris okay so all this is going to do this trigger is going to go hey you know models and clip do what you need to do in, in the models case it will fly up to the script structure and then disappear um in the clips case it will just basically delete itself now one last one we need to do and this will be script noteworthy clip okay this is actually going to make it into something that basically those zombies can walk through you know everything's everything's set up as you'd expect um a deleting clip to work so script noteworthy got that right yeah and this is just going to be clip okay simple as that so starting debris script noteworthy and clip okay easy as that can now escape out of that and now your debris is now set up now of course you know if you want to make multiple of these you just need to basically change the targets and the target names really um and of course the um the script flag for your actual zones so just a quick overview before we go in game and test this um the trigger is targeting the models the models is then targeting the script struct so those three things combined will basically make it shoot up in the air and disappear your trigger is also targeting this clip which is basically making it so you can't walk through there until this is triggered it will then obviously delete itself and then you can walk straight through and of course the script uh, flag on this is of course you know actually basically making the second zone behind this uh, wall then activated so that's kind of the workflow in terms of how this works so all i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly just save this and then i'm going to go over to my launcher do a full compile go into game and show you guys this actually working so i'll see you guys over in um, in black ops 3. okay then so over at black ops 3 now and you can see we have it says that, you know to clear debris we cannot walk through it can't do that okay let's just kill some zombies like such there we go go to here and we'll open up the debris because it shoots up into the air we can now walk straight through it we of course you know we don't die because you know we're in the second zone which has now been activated and i'm just going to show that this zombie can actually walk through the door so wait for them to walk all the way through lovely stuff all i'm going to do now is just wait for the next zombies now to spawn now because it's round one it's going to base the zombies basically spawned in the second zone over here there we go and it's as easy as that then guys so if you do have any questions please leave them in the comment section below um, other than that that has been how to add some viable debris to your map and of course once you've done it once you know you can typically just copy and paste your you know your previous work to your new debris and just change like the models and you know some naming stuff um yeah once, once you've done it once you kind of just use it over and over again that's kind of what i do so yeah guys thanks for watching i hope this has helped and i'll see you guys in the next video bye for now